There are two ways to set up a new patient in the CarePath system. One is to let the patient set themselves up using the patient portal. The other is for uh, the front desk or for the clinician to set up the patient. I'm going to set up a new patient uh, that has not used the patient portal. So I click on add new patient or add new client and I give the uh, client a user ID and a password. In the CarePath system, every uh, client needs a user ID and a password. If I then put in his first and last name and go down to the bottom and hit save, I have established an account for a new patient. Now I'm going to enter other information on the patient because I'm assuming that the patient has not used the patient portal. I'm going to put in the date of birth, their gender, and I'm going to put in their address. For uh, claims purposes, you always have to have an address. Uh, if the patient does not have, uh, you're not billing insurance, you don't have to put in this information. And to add a coverage or a payer, you scroll down and you click on add new coverage payer. That brings you to a coverage wizard. Uh, you select the coverage, uh, the page will reload. You don't have to put in the plan name or the plan number, the policy number or the group number. You do have to indicate the relationship uh, of the patient to the subscriber. If the patient is a subscriber, you simply put in the subscriber's member ID and hit save. If the uh, patient is, for instance, a child of the, of the subscriber, you need to put in the subscriber's member ID as well as the dependent's member ID if you have it. If you don't have it, you repeat the uh, uh, subscriber's member ID. You also have to put in uh, here the, patient, the subscriber's first and last name. I'm going to assume that the subscriber is the patient. I'm going to put in a subscriber's member ID. And with that, I have uh, established a payer for this patient. Uh, many of you are going to uh, be getting authorizations for managed care companies. Uh, if that's the case, uh, on the coverage wizard, there is a link called Add, Add Eligibility and Benefit Information. Uh, that brings you to a page which enables you to put in a copay or a coinsurance. It also uh, enables you to add an authorization for service. So I'm going to add an authorization. I hit save, uh, the page reloads, I go to, at the bottom here, add edit authorization, uh, and I put in a start date for the authorization, let's say I'll put in January 1st, and the end date, I'll put in uh, April 1st, I'll put in an authorization ID, uh, the units allowed, uh, you can uh, set the uh, authorization tracker to alert you to when you are running out of authorizations and you can indicate the number of sessions at which you want to be alerted. So I have it set at two. I think that's okay. Um, and I can then indicate the services that uh, uh, the managed care company has authorized. I go down to the bottom. I hit save and I'm done. Now I'm going to go back to the home page and I'm going to check to see that uh, this patient, John Jones, has been entered into the system and there is John Jones and you'll see that on the patient detail page the information that I entered uh, including his address and so forth uh, is is listed uh, and if I go back to the account I click on account above the header I can get back to that setup page and I can uh, check the information to see if it's correct I see down here that he has Edna as insurance and that's the way you set up a, a new patient in the CarePath system it's pretty quick uh, if you have questions or you uh, are ever confused, you can always go up 
to the help links at the top of the page. Uh, the help links have an online manual uh, that has information about patient records, about claims, and other aspects of the e-record. Thanks for your time. Goodbye.